<laughs> okay, so I've actually... Oh, let me change my shirt. Bow with. <laughs> Okay, so as of recently, I have been trying out some new products and I really wanted to show you guys. So, into my bathroom we go. These products here are a holy grail for me now and I think it's taken a long time for me to realise that. When it comes to skincare and my routine, I don't need to do a thousand and one different steps. I say that as if I've not got enough skincare, but that's besides the point. The products that I'm showing you are my favourite products that I'm using at the minute. So, first thing that I've been using is the Caudalie Vena Pearl. Perfect serum. I got this from work. I had the area manager training lady come in, kindly gifted me and some of my colleagues and was going through skin concerns and things. And I said I suffer from dryness and overproduced oils in my teasing. Right, this product, uh, I've been using this for a week now. This has saved me. Like this, I no longer have as of dry cheeks I did previously in the last week. This is what it looks like. The creamy literal formula. Obviously I'm not gonna put it on. <laughs> but it's just something that I've been loving and and I really think you guys, if you've not tried Cordelay. Second thing that I've been loving and adoring is the Paula's Choice Toner. This toner I brought as a trial size on Amazon a couple weeks back, you guys seen in the video. I've been trying this. When I tell you my skin felt exfoliated and all of the dead skin that I have around my nose area because it's my nose area and then the dryness on my cheeks, I really feel like the product does get into that without damaging my skin. Also, I have sensitive skin as well. So sensitive dry skin is what I have. I have to be very careful with the products that I use because during lockdown I gave myself a chemical ban. Right back to that vlog. <laughs> Obviously, those are the two products that I've been loving when it comes to toner by Paula's Choice. Those are the favorite products that I've been using when it comes to more of the expensive brands. Um, I'd say more of the mastige level. Another product that I did pick up, which in my opinion is on the expensive side of things, and that is the and that is the YSL cleansing balm. Now I've tried this a while, just when I do like foundation swatches on myself to try and find my skin tone in every single foundation that we start. I'll use this to get this off. This is about twenty-four pounds and it just is amazing. The balm's amazing, it smells great. Like I'm a huge, huge fan of this. And if you want something within the more luxury space, but you don't want to spend like 50 quid on a cleansing balm, this is really good. Okay, so next up when it comes to more of the affordable things, the e.l.f. Hydro Cleansing Balm, I promise you now is the best thing you'll purchase. I brought this from Boots. I got it on offer, it was eight pounds. I will link everything I'm talking about down below. I've literally used like, pretty much used like half of it. And um, this is amazing and I literally have three. So in total, I have four of these cleansing balms because I'm a huge fan of them. Now lastly, when it comes to more of the affordable skincare stuff, I have the Pure Skin Elf Cleanser and also to go in with this, I have the Pure Skin Toner. These two are amazing. They've got hyaluronic acid in there. They've got niacinamide and also they're made from oats. So they have the they have the goodness of the oat water in both of them and obviously having oats really helps with, not inflation, what's it called? Deflammation? Deflammatory? Well, instead of making your skin puffy, it makes it not puffy. I don't know the name of it, but that's what I've noticed these two do, and these are great for the affordable scale. So now we're back, it's a little bit later on, and I do want to apologize for the noise outside because someone decided to have a new door. Not joking when I say they were literally cutting a door. Recently, I've been finding it a little bit hard when it comes to filming. I film Instagram videos, TikToks, and obviously YouTube videos, and I'm finding it hard to prioritize each thing. Now, a couple of weeks ago, when I did my Dear 2022 video, I mentioned how I was using a content calendar, and yes, that still does help. However, some days, you just feel out of it, and that's completely okay. So I do want to preface by saying, if you've Notice a little bit of a sparse sort of upload when it comes to this or an Instagram or TikTok. <laughs> it's just because I job is you know a lot and some days I come home absolutely miserable and I don't want to film not edit because I just have the life sucked out of me so I'm doing my best I promise I am and I just want to you know be open and honest because that's what we're all about this year so for the next clip the audio wasn't working but I did just want to tell you guys that it was about my move to London and how I'm still going it's just taking me a little bit harder to find somewhere because we are in a recession here in the UK and I personally hate it then I went on to talk about my favorite products so here is Clip. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I've been obsessed with it. I've been loving it. And who, who doesn't love a good dupe? Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Thank you so much. And I also do, in fact, have the dupe for the Clinique anti-redness thing, because when I do put on concealer or a foundation that is light to medium coverage, I do have a lot of redness in my cheeks. So I will use this, which is a dupe for the Clinique redness thing. 